What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today we are back with day two of Ringside Fest 2022. As you guys know, yesterday we did post up reveals from day one. It was very epic. If you guys want to go back and check out the news from yesterday, definitely go check that out. We may touch on it a little bit here in this video, but it is Ringside Fest time. And if you guys remembered yesterday, there was a supposed leak, or not supposed, there was. There was a leak of the video. It got posted prematurely and there was leaks all over. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys have already seen it, but today we actually get to cover in grave detail and I'm going to give you all my thoughts on all of those figure reveals and all those different things but the Usos were there they showed those off and then today we got more news and acknowledgement of more reveals elite waves returning waves and just some crazy stuff going on here man but let's shut the hell up let's get into it and break down ringside fest starting out first guys we do have an image of the upcoming a render image I should say a render image of the upcoming Andre the Giant Ultimate Edition as you guys know will be with Seth Rollins in Ultimate Edition Series 17 I think it is we have a look at Andre here. He's got four different interchangeable head sculpts. He's got some gigantic hands here. He looks magnificent. I'm actually looking forward to this figure. If you guys remember way back, I did say, you know, I hope we get an Andre the Giant Ultimate Edition, and then we ended up getting this shown off to us. So, I was super excited to see the prototype. I think the prototype looked great. I think this looks great, and I'm sure it's going to be a, a good one. I don't know how well it'll sell. I'm actually interested to see how well he sells because you guys remember that Hall of Fame 4-pack with Andre in it? It sat around. I know that was kind of more than obviously just one regular Ultimate Edition, but I'm intrigued to see how Andre does it retail. I, I am actually intrigued to see what comes to place with that. But the black attire looks good. All these head sculpts look good to me. You have, you know, like a straight face, a smirking face, a yelling face, and then a serious wide-eyed face. Very good. I like it. And I don't know if this is all it comes with. I guess we'll have to see about that. I imagine it would come with something else, but we'll have to see. But there is Andre the Giant. So this year, we're going to be getting three different Andre the Giant elites or figures right off the cuff in 2023. And that's going to be epic. So... There's Andre the Giant. We also got to look at the Ultimate Edition Seth Rollins figure. Now, lots to say about this. We saw the prototype image back at the Hogan's Beach Shop little reveals that we got not too long ago. And this is the gear that I thought it would be. It's like the triangles and the rainbow colors. Remember, I told you guys that in the Hogan Beach Shop reveal video. You got the longer hair head sculpt here for Seth Rollins. Now, very interesting enough, if you guys will notice, these head sculpts, very interesting. These look like they're just retooled head sculpts of old Seth Rollins head sculpts. If you look in here, man, the one that's on the figure already, it looks like the Elite 75 render from way back when we got that figure shown off. And the Chicago Bears gear looks like that right there. And then if you guys look at the gritty expression, that is the SummerSlam Elite figure. That is the SummerSlam Elite face with different hair sculpted on there at least that's what it looks like to me like same exact facial expression same exact like hair sculpt like absolutely crazy and then if you look at the yelling head sculpt that looks like the elite 52 head sculpt so did we just get three reused head sculpts with new hair mold i guess it's not that bad but It'll all have to depend on the true effects, but I have never been a fan of that gritty expression Seth Rollins head sculpt they put on that SummerSlam Elite. The Elite 52 wasn't bad when we first got it, but they reused it so many damn times it got old really fast. I know we have a new hair sculpt here, so it is a little bit different, but I don't know. I'd like to know where you guys stand on that, but am I wrong? It looks like three head sculpts for Seth Rollins are being reused here just with new hair molds. A am I wrong? You guys can let me know, but apparently he is going to come with his faux fur jacket similar to what we got with his last Elite. I think this one's going to come with a black one with black fur. This is going to be a great figure, I think. I'm actually really excited for it. And I'll be grabbing this one a lot just for the formula, just for the heads and, you know, different stuff like that. You know, it, we don't know. We don't know until we see it in full fruition. You know, it could be true effects, could be the way they paint it. It should be a lot better than those head sculpts originally, but we'll have to see about that. But nonetheless, an ultimate Seth Rollins is something I want, and he's looking pretty good right here. Moving right along, we do have a few figures coming in. I'm, what I'm guessing is the Greatest Hits line. I'm actually recording this before the actual live stream. If I get more info on it, I will touch on it and let you guys know if this is the Greatest Hits Wave 2. I think it is going to be Greatest Hits Wave 2, but we have King Harley Race, man. We're getting the Harley Race figure. It does seem to be slightly different than that other Harley Race, but it looks like they're re-releasing the Harley Race, the figure that's like 250 or 300 bucks online if you're trying to track this guy down in the aftermarket. Certainly going to hurt the price of that figure, but we're getting it with double-jointed arms. He's got the crown and the cape. I know a lot of people are going to be pissed off about this. Are you guys pissed off about this, or are you on board with it getting a re-release of the Harley Race figure? You know, I'm on both sides of the fence because, I don't know, like, I get the, I understand the greatest line, but 
at the same time, it kind of sucks. I, I'm, yeah, it, it just gives me a whole lot of feelings there. But there's Harley Race. He does look good. You know, I, the the greatest hits figures are legitimately re-releases, and this looks to be pretty much the exact same figure as the first go around. But I know some people will be happy, some people will be pissed. You guys can sound off down in the comment section below. Another figure coming to the re-releases here in the greatest hits line is going to be. Elite Batista, or I should say Blue Tista. I do not know anybody that wanted this figure re-released, but here we are. We're getting another Batista. Why not the Elite 2 Batista or the Elite 6 Batista? Hell, even the Elite 30 Batista would have been great. But Batista is looking good here. It does look like it's going to be slightly different here with the head sculpt. He's going to come with the same vest, same hat. I legitimately have four of the Blue Tista Elite, so now I'm going to have another one here, and uh, I don't know, man. This is a wild one. I actually commented on Ringside post earlier today when they said what do you hope to see i commented i hope they re-release blue tista and they yeah i don't think that comment lasted on there very long just a simple joke in there but yeah i thought that was funny that we're getting a blue tista i'd like to know where you guys stand on that one now moving right along guys this is epic news right here and i'm pretty sure this is the news here apparently the defining moments figure line is returning and all we got so far is this back shot of mankind it looks like and apparently it's going to be a King of the Ring 1998 Mankind figure here. You guys can see it in the back here with this tattered shirt. This is incredible. If we're getting the Defining Mo Moments line returning, that is huge news for WWE action figure collectors. You can see the shirt all torn up. But I know a ton of people are going to be excited about this line. I mean, the sky's the limit here. I would love, I saw somebody say that they wish that they would bring back the Defining Moments line, but they'd all be Ultimate Editions. That would be simply incredible. I think that would be fantastic to get like specific looks and moments of people in Ultimate Edition form. That, I mean, that just sounds in insane to me. That sounds amazing. I cannot wait to see what that means truly. But could this mean that we're possibly getting a Hell in a Cell crowdfunder pointing? Maybe we'll get a crowdfunder Hell in a Cell to go with an Undertaker figure, maybe announce tables and stuff like that, different weapons, accessories, and then we're getting the Mankind. Just some things that went through my mind, but I'm all aboard Defining Moments Return. I know a lot of people have been waiting on that line to return someday, and maybe this is the way to do it, man. Maybe, maybe I don't know, lots of details to come out. And again, I'm filming this before I know all the details, so maybe I could give you some info at the end of the video. We'll have to see, but, you know, Mankind is coming, and it looks to be incredible. Now, next up, guys, we do have a look at Elite Series 102, and this set is, is a decent set. We'll get into it. Of course, yesterday we did see Sami Zayn, if you guys saw that, but we also have a brand new Elite Edge coming. Updated looking Edge. I mean, updated. It's like a Judgment Day Edge, and we all saw how that turned out. Banger figure. Looks amazing. Looks an immaculate looking action figure here with the head sculpt. Terrible torso again, but... All the bells and whistles here. The gear is very poetic. You know, he's got his long entrance gear in there in rubber, which is terrible. But I'm excited for the figure. I think the figure will still be really good. All the updated edges we have gotten so far have been really good. Black and purple gear. He's looking fantastic. We also have a look at Austin Theory coming. We have an updated Theory here. Hopefully his head sculpt won't be too big this time, but... Very similar to his last Elite, you know, the gear. It's kind of just a repaint there. We do have some new head sculpts, though. You have, like, the smiling selfie face and then, like, the shocked face. Entrance gear. You got the black and silver gear. And then you also have, like, the Captain America gear. Even with the entrance vest and everything. I mean, this is a very cool-looking figure as well. So we have a couple Austin Theories here. Not a big Austin Theory guy, but the figure does look good. And this is, you know, this is pretty toyetic. I like the Captain America gear, obviously, over the black and silver. But I like both of those. We also had a look at Walter coming with a new formula. Great looking torso right here. It actually almost looks like a brand new torso that it could be. But we have a brand new Walter figure. A lot more lean, a lot more slimmer. He's looking good here. I say Walter, you know what I mean. But he's got his red gear. He's got his, got his knife edge chop hands. Great looking head sculpt. I'm excited for this one. I think this will be much better than his first go around, so we'll have to see about that. But Walter, with an updated formula, looking good here. I know a lot of people are going to be excited about that one. We also have an updated Rhea Ripley figure here. This one should be much better. It is in that weird looking shirt she wore. I know, I, I want to say this, like, people were talking about this on social media, about her gear or something like that, but I love how we get all the leg tattoos here. This is our first Rhea with her leg tattoos on here. Lots of deco on there. This should be very toyetic. It even has, like, the sternum tattoo. Her arm sleeves, interchangeable hands. This is a good-looking Rhea Ripley. I like this. She's got the entrance vest on there, double-jointed arms. I mean, all those different things are going to make this figure very, very nice. It even looks like it has some sculpts down there on the crotch piece, so this one will be nice. I think this Rhea will be a lot better than her first one. Her first one was damn good as well. We also had a look at Elite Series 102 Commissioner Mick Foley right here. 
one that I did not expect, but he even comes with thumbs up hands, and he's got a gavel holding hand, which is crazy, man. Very, very cool. We're gonna have, you know, articulated there. A brand new head sculpt that we haven't seen before, double jointed arm. Very classic right here for Commissioner Mick Foley. Did one that I did not expect to see there, so so that that's pretty cool there. But I'm pretty sure that is all of the figure images that we got. I think that's all the reveals here today, if I'm not mistaken. I think there's a Q&A tomorrow. I don't think there's any reveals tomorrow, but it wasn't like... This is definitely, I think, the weakest ringside fest. It may not be. Maybe they only show, like, one wave and a few other exclusives. I'm not entirely sure, but it seems like it was kind of light. I know yesterday it was really light, but we do have the ringside exclusive Usos Ultimate Editions, if you guys missed those. So apparently the Mankind figure is going to be a ringside exclusive defining moments, and it does look to be elite. They didn't really speak on the Ultimate Edition portion of it. Andre the Giant is going to come with some cloth goods of some kind, and a championship to be revealed later on and the Harley Race and the Batista are both greatest hits figures and they're going to reveal the rest of the line at a later date they said but that was pretty much it for the reveals they also showed off the res retro NWO four pack figures we saw those a few times now but that is all the reveals we saw man that is every single figure reveal that we saw today I know again they were leaked yesterday but we got to finally get the you know the good the better updated quality images today and we got to cover it all so I hope you guys did enjoy I'd love to know what you guys think I just feel like it was really light for Ringside Fest but I could be mistaken and also we got the Hogan Beat Shop reveals which I think probably lessened it obviously it would have been a lot bigger or a lot more reveals but I'm getting out of here man thank you guys so very much for watching hope you guys did enjoy leave me your thoughts down below on all these figures I'll see you guys in the next video have a blessed one and I'll see you next time you cross